Uh, it's time for another math easy solution term to discuss further into integration of rational functions by partial fractions. And now we'll go over example four of the example series, and it's uh, basically solving this integral, which is x to the four minus two x squared plus four x plus one, all divided by x cubed min minus x squared minus x plus one. So now when solving this, this is a pretty complicated uh, rational function. Uh, first thing to notice is that it, the, the degree in the top as well as degree four, and the degree in the, in the denominator as well as the degree three. So this is an improper fraction. That's because the degree at the bottom is less than the degree on the top. So first thing we need to do is basically use a long division or polynomial long division right here. And uh, like I showed in my earlier video, the way we do it is we'll, we write the denominator on the left side, x squared minus x plus 1. And then we, write, then we would write this whole thing over here, the, the numerator on the right side here. So we're dividing the denominator into the numerator. And you can see a video link below on uh, polynomial long division. Anyways, uh, so now first thing we gotta do is is find a number that multiplies by x cubed to get x4, and in this case that's just x. So we multiply x on, on every single one on here, we get well x4. Now we have negative x cubed, and then we have uh, negative x squared, and then we have a uh, right here plus uh, plus x right here, x times one. So we get this right here. Now we have to subtract it. And as you can see, the x4s cancel out. And now there's no x cubed in the top one. So then we just, uh, yeah, just ignore this. will be 0 minus negative x cubed. That's just, well, plus x cubed. And now there's a negative 2x squared minus negative x squared. That is, yeah, that means we'll add to this negative x squared. So that's going to be negative x squared right here, negative 2 plus, well, x plus 1 is just negative 1. And now plus 4x minus x, that's just, well, plus 3x. And now we bring down the 1, so plus 1 here. And now we do the same thing. Find something that multiplies by x cubed that gets x, that's just, well, 1. So we multiply everything uh, here by 1, so x cubed, that's just going to be the, the same thing. x cubed minus x squared minus x, that's over here. So now we subtract everything uh, yeah, from the top. So the x cubes cancelled, x squares cancel. Now we have a four, 3x minus negative x. That's going to be, well, 4x. And, uh, oh yeah, I forgot the 1 right here. Plus 1 right here. And then the 1's just, well, cancel. So this is our uh, remainder right here. So we've solved for, well, we've simplified this uh, that function right there, that rational function. So we have x4 minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. And now there's the denominator here, x squared minus x plus 1. This equals to now x plus 1 and then plus the remainder 4x over the denominator x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. And now uh, this function, this remainder is still complicated, so we will have to use, well, partial fractions right here. So before we do that, notice that, well, the denominator, let's say q of x equals to the denominator, let's say it equals to x3 minus x squared minus x plus 1. So we want to factor this, and we know that, well, if we plug in q of 1, as if you just look at it here, it will be 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1. Uh, plus one right here. So then this basically cancels, this cancels, this equals to zero. So x equals one is a factor of uh, the denominator. So that helps us in factoring this out. So we know that x cubed minus x squared minus x plus one equals two, well, the factor x minus one because if you plug in one, it becomes zero. So now we need to multiply it by something else. So in this case, to get x cubed, well, we need an x squared right here. So x squared times x is x cubed. To get x squared, 
well that's already here that this multiply with this it gets a negative x squared so we have that and now to get this well negative x well we need a negative one here and we also need that this one here so negative one times negative one so this one will just be negative one here so we get this negative x because x times negative one and negative one times negative one is just one so if you were to expand this out you get this exact same thing and also further note is if you look at this x squared right here uh, this one is we can also factor this out right here x squared minus one is well equal to x minus one times x plus one because if you were to multiply this out this will get well x times x is equals x squared and then we have this uh, x times it would be a plus x and then a negative x and those cancel out and we have a negative one negative one times one that's negative one so we could factor out further to this so this what this means is this equals two well there's two x minus ones squared and then there's an x plus one right that so that is how we factor it out the furthest that we can so what this all means is the the remainder becomes well 4x over well x minus 1 uh, x, uh, x minus 1 squared x plus 1 so this is our remainder that's this part right here and that yeah, this is uh, what it equals to I'll just drag this around so that is this now and now using partial fraction decomposition this equals to well a over x minus 1 and then plus b over well x minus 1 squared and you can see how I do this uh, proof of this in an earlier video also in the video link below now plus the last one c now there's an x plus 1 right there and now what we do is multiply everything by the denominator x minus 1 squared times x plus 1 so that we get rid of all of the denominators for every single one so when we multiply it all out we get well 4x equals 2a and then the x minus 1 cancels so we're left with x minus 1 the, the squares cancel x plus 1 plus now b now this whole thing cancels now we're just left with x plus 1 plus c now and then there is a well x minus 1 squared so now we have this and now we have to solve for these coefficients and uh, like I showed in my earlier uh, video the a good method for this is well let's just pick in this case um, when x equals 2 you know we'll put x equals to 1 right here just so that this a's cancel and the c cancels so when we do that uh, we have well 4 equals 2 this a is cancelled so now we have a b times 2 that's just 1 plus 1 this cancels so now we have b is equal to well 4 divided by 2 is 2 so that's this coefficient and now the next zero we could do is x equals to well negative 1 so what this gets now is a negative 4 equals 2 now this a cancels again because we have negative 1 plus 1 is 0 and now this B cancels because there's a negative 1 plus 1 and now we're just left with well with C C and then this is gonna be negative 1 uh, yes yeah, so a negative 1 uh, that's negative 2 squared that's just 4 so C is equal to well negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1 right there and I'll just circle that and now the last thing is, is just solve for A and one way we could do is x equals to zero just get rid of the left side so this gets well zeros equal to a this can be negative one so negative a plus well this is going to be one so plus b and this last one is negative one squared that's just plus c so move this over we get a is equal to b plus c which equals to plug in the values two minus 1 equals to 1 so this equals to a right there and now we could basically plug this all into our final uh, integral right here so we have an integral now of what we were started off with x4 minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 1 then divided by x cubed minus x squared minus x plus yeah, plus 1 right here dx 
this equals two integral of, well, we had an x plus one, we needed the polynomial long division right here, x plus one, and now this is the remainder, four x over, yeah, four x over x cubed minus x squared minus x plus one, which is the same thing as four x divided by x minus one squared times x plus one, which equals these partial fractions. Plus now we just put the partial fractions one. So now we have this a is one over x minus one. Plus, well, two over x minus one squared. And then the last one is, well, negative. And now we have c, which is, well, yeah, negative one over x plus one. So all this dx, and now we can solve for each one of these separately. So this all equals two uh, integral of x, that's just well x squared divided by two. And integral of one is x, integral right here of one over x minus one, that's just well plus ln of absolute value of x minus one. You can see proof of this video link below of ln. And now this last one here, yeah, this one right here, this 2x, 2 divided by x minus 1 squared, well, that's just basically 2 over, um, actually, negative 2 over x minus 1. And that's because if you were to look at it right here in a bubble, draw it over here, uh, basically negative 2 over x minus 1 equals 2, negative 2 times it by, well, x minus 1 to the power of negative 1. And now using just uh, basic uh, d derivative of this, if we were to do a derivative of this, d over dx equals two, well, uh, this is gonna be, put the negative down, so we'll have a plus two, and then you subtract on the power, it's just a derivative of a power, negative two, which equals to two over x minus one squared. So that is just, ba and then we go backwards uh, on this for the integral so you would go um, yeah we would add a power to make it well add a positive power so negative one and then bring this negative one down so that's what this e integral equals to right there and the last one negative now it's going to be ln of x plus one right here now we plus a constant but we already used the, the constant I mean we already used the coefficient c I'll just write k for a constant there so now we have this we could simplify this further into well x squared plus yeah, x squared divided by 2 plus x minus 2, x minus 1. And now we could use the natural logs or log uh, property. This equals to ln of absolute value of x minus 1. There's a subtraction. So we go x plus 1 here divided by plus k right there, the constant. And this is basically our final answer right here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully follow through this pretty extensive example on this rational uh, of partial fractions integration method. Anyways, all for today. Hope you learned, and like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.